It's two parachutes, 14th of March, 2013, scene one, take one. Right, this is the first parachute. This one here. Now, which group? Who was in this group? Cameron, Thomas and me. Okay, so what's so special about your parachute? Why did you decide on that? You can move it a bit, a bit if you want. Right, they cover more airspace. So cover more airspace? So, tell me a bit about your parachute. What, what, what is the design features of this parachute? We blue tack man. So let's lift it up, let me see the blue tack man. Okay, a blue tack man who's kind of doing some kind of swan dive. Yeah. Okay, right, and why do you get two bits of paper? More airspace. More airspace? Yeah, like more, like more bits of air paper. So the air gets like, caught up. The air gets caught up? Yeah. Okay, so what do we call that when we've got more air space, taking up more air? What do we call that? It's increasing the air what? Yep. Air resistance, okay? It's not air space, it's more air resistance. So give it a turn. Let me see the different parts of it. Okay, two of those. And what's the hole in the middle for? So the air can flow out. But what if the air doesn't flow out? What happens to the parachute if the air doesn't flow out? Uh, it'll go out the sides and then the parachute will be all about the place. So all about the place, it'll tip over. Yeah? Okay. Next group. Okay, next group. Who was in this group? Uh, Jack and Liam. Jack and who? Liam. Jack and Liam. Okay. Right. Let, let it go so I can see the top bit as well. It's about to hit the floor. Right, what, why have you got why have you got different bits of paper? What's why have you got tissue paper and normal paper? Uh, so it can like balance the weight. Balance the weight? Yeah. Well, is that you mean balance the weight, yeah? Very technical. Well, and again, why does this what why have you got why have you got two parts to it? Uh, well, the air will go through the hole in the first layer and then it'll come out into the second layer and then like But what do we say the increased air was all about? What do we say increasing? Why, why would you need two levels to your parachute? Why do you need two levels to your parachute? Um, Increase the... Direction. What did you say? Ryan? Air resistance. Air resistance. Increase the air resistance. Okay, next one. Right, next one here. You've got a big, large uh, bit of paper on top. You've got a bit of tissue paper underneath. And then you've got your little mass underneath that. So what's so special about your design? Tissue paper, we have crosses um, through the middle to create strength and to keep it balanced. And then the top one is used to um, create more air resistance. Good. Bring the bottom bit over so I can see. So what are you talking about, the crosses? So bring it right over here. Just walk over here. Let me see it. So you've got bits of paper underneath to support and strengthen the yeah. parachute. Okay? And the more air resistance you've got by increasing the size of the two parachutes. And again, why have you got a hole in the middle? Uh, to let the air out. To let the air out and not stop the parachute toppling over. Yeah. Okay, well done. All right, third group. What's this one? What's the features of this one? Now you've got three areas, okay? Three parts of your parachute. So what was, um, so why did you choose that? Whose group is it? So it's Ruby, Amanda and Victoria. Okay, why did you pick three different areas? <coughs> so again, to increase what? Increase the air resistance even more. Now, what I haven't asked everybody is, what is it that's pulling the parachutes down? What is it that pulls the parachutes down? What is it that pulls everything down? The 50 gram blue tack. Ah, the 50 gram mass. But what does the mass cause? Production. No. What is the mass causing? The mass is pulling. Is pull, oh. just like we are getting pulled down as well. What is that? No. But remember, we talked before we started the parachutes. What was it? Weight, thank you, it's the weight. The weight pulling it down, and we balance out the weight by using air resistance. Okay, good. Next one. Now this one was all made out of tissue paper, so it's quite a large one. Okay, there's three tiers to it again. Now, you've got quite a good design feature of what you've done is with the corners. What have you done there? Um, we've like made it into kind of boxes so that the air doesn't go out the side and goes through the hole instead. Okay, so again, try to capture the air using the sides of the kind of boxes Make it one to kind of parachute, para, parachute, parachute, parachute shape. Okay, again, you've got the 50 gram mass at the bottom, which is your weight, and loads of surface area there, and you've got the edges curled over to try and capture the, the air. Well done. Okay, right, I think that's probably one of the best designs. Well done. Right, go to the side. Next, last grip. Okay, where's the mass? 
with us to Moss. Is there Moss on it? Oh, the Moss is on there. Did this parachute work? Mm -hmm. Taylor, did this parachute work? No. No. <laughs> I wonder why. There seems to be dangling bits of string places. Was this your first or second design of parachute? Second. Second. What was wrong with your first one? It was too small. So the parachute was too small, air resistance was too small, so this was an attempt to try and increase the surface area and make sure that the parachute that went made down. made the string too long. Made the string too long. Right, okay. Now, out of all the parachutes we've got, which one do we feel was the best design? Chloe. Uh, uh, Chloe. Would like to have a little vote in this? Okay, stand up again with your parachutes, let's do a little vote. We'll do a little, um, we'll do a little, uh, Cheer vote. Okay, so the louder the cheer, the louder the the, the better the design. Okay, so let's cheer depending on how good we think the design is. So the first one, cheer vote. How well do you think this one was? Ah, yeah! <laughs> I think that was one person shouting there. This one. <laughs> right, Jack. I think we've got your face in twice. Sorry about that. Yay! Right, this group. Yay! Rubbish. No. This group. That wasn't shouting, that's more screaming, I think. Yep. And then the last group. Yeah. I think this group seems like the winner. Last group. Yeah. I think there'll be a tumbleweed moment there. I don't think there's any cheering for no string attached. So, this group wins. Well done, round of applause, please.